Good afternoon and welcome to Kinnegad for the Division 3 relegation playoff between Fermanagh and Wicklow. Uh, my name is Raphael Rocca. I'll be bringing you commentary for the opening stage of this, this game. Uh, we have some mechanical difficulties with our commentator, but he should be here with you shortly. Meanwhile, we will go through the teams. Uh, Fermanagh uh, will line out as follows. In goals, Shauna Murphy. Number two, Molly McGloin. Number three, Aaron Murphy. Shanahan McQuaid. Sarah McCarvel. Courtney Murphy, Sarah Jane Jones, Roisin O'Reilly, Aoife Flanagan, Sarah McCausland, Roisin McDonald, Ashleen McGuire, Joanne Donnan, Emer Smith, Ashleen O'Brien, and Megan McGuire is number 16. And we will switch over to the Fermanagh side now, and sorry, for the Wicklow side. And in goals, we have. Linda Dempsey, Aoife Gillen, Sarah Jane Winder, Winders, Lucy Dunn, Lorna Fuscard, Alana Conroy, Paula Faulkner, Neve McGettigan, Sarah Delahunt, Laura, Laurie Ahern, Sinead McGettigan, Rihanna McGettigan, Clodagh Fox, Maeve Delaney, and Moira Keeley. So the teams lining out as we prepare to throw in here with both sides hoping to preserve their Division 3 status for this year. The subs as we see on screen now for both C8 sides as the referee uh, waits for the Fermanagh captain and players to take their positions ahead of throwing. The customary fist bumps as the referee sets her match clock. Fairly nice, steady breeze here in Kinnegad today. Uh, somewhat crossfield uh, as it blows into the stand here. Uh, hard to see who will benefit, but three final preparations. Whistle to mouth, and we're off. Possession gathered in midfield there by Fermanagh's number nine. Ball inside, gathered. By Wicklow, and away we come. Our buff for Mana, and away we come.
So the from Anna number 14, Hemer Smith there down injured. As she's attended to by the uh, physio. Two minutes 20 into the match, yet to register a score. But this will be the first opportunity. As she dusts herself down. And Emer Smith now preparing to take the first free. Steadies herself. Shot. And the umpires like the look of it. Up goes the white flag for Mana into a one point lead. Linda Dempsey to restart for Wicklow. Short kick out. Putting her. Bringing her corner back under a bit of pressure there. Lucy Dumont, and thank her for that one. But it's Fermana on the attack now. Inside to Ashley Maguire. Back to Ashley Maguire. Going away from goals now. Out to Sarah Delahunt. And that is another score for Fermana into a two point lead. So pressure up on the kick out there the last time, forcing the turnover taking their time with possession and again another shot kick out to the same side from Linda Dempsey but this time gathered and Wicklow come away with possession ball down the left hand side finds Maeve Deeney Maeve Deeney inside now to number 12 Rena McGettigan under pressure ball across here to the midfielder Back inside to 14. Maeve Deeney again. Referee says there was a hand in across. That's going to be a free. for the technical difficulties uh, in the first couple of minutes here in Kinnegad. It's for Man of the Lead, two points to nil after four and a half minutes here and the kick out from their keeper, Shauna Murphy, just a bit too strong on that one. And it's Wicklow that have it quickly here. It's Wicklow on the attack now in need of a score. And it's their midfielder, Sarah Delahunt, that plays it inside. Chance now for Lorna Fashardi. Fashardi gets the pass away, trying to fashion a shooting chance now as their full forward. That's Maeve Deeney, it's Deeney with the shot, it's going to drop short and drop short to the Fermanagh keeper, Shauna Murphy. Fermanagh now working it out with the hand pass, trying to get outside their own 45 as their midfielder, Roshan O'Reilly that has it, plays it away and it's coming out to this left hand side now. Just over five minutes played now and it's Fermanagh on the attack. Long ball played inside to the full forward line. It's going to bounce over a couple of players. It's Emer Smith that has it. Smith now going through on goal. Maybe the first goal chance of the game. It's inside to the number 26. Chance comes in. The shot comes in from Neil McManus. And that's another score for Fermanagh. Hint of a goal chance there for Emer Smith. She gave the pass away to Neil McManus. And McManus with a plan pops that one over the bar for another Fermanagh score. Three points to no score here in Kinnegad in this little ladies National Football League Division 3 relegation final. It's a poor kick out and it's going to be Aoife Flanagan for Fermanagh to take it. Flanagan low ball inside to the middle of the park, just inside the Wicklow 45 metre line. Fermanagh on the attack. Ball comes inside looking for Roshan O'Reilly, but Wicklow are there in numbers and it's going to be their cornerback Aoife Gillen plays it back to Sarah Jane Winders. And it's a good take there from Larry O'Hearn. O'Hearn now on this near side running towards. The Fermanagh attack, she's been chased down by Shannon McQuaid. Good work from McQuaid, but the pass comes inside to Sarah Delahunt. Inside to the full forward line. Good take there by the number 12 on this Wicklow side. That's Rena McGettigan. It's McGettigan with the shot, and yet again it drops short. And it's an easy one for Shauna Murphy. And pass comes out. And there's going to be a free given by referee Lorraine O'Sullivan. But Fermanagh take it quickly. And have plenty of time and space in front of them. The ball goes long. It's well won there by 
the centre forward, but it's a free given. And again, it's taken quickly for Manor, really trying to deliver quickly into this Wicklow defence, but there's plenty of players back for Wicklow on this occasion. And it's Lorna Fischardi coming out with it. Fischardi trying to get the hand pass away. Brilliant interception by Aoife Flanagan. It's for Manor on the attack again. Seven minutes on the clock, long ball comes in. It's not the best ball inside on Emer Smith, doing her best to try and get to it, but the ball trickles out over the end line, and it's a wide ball. Another one for, for Manor that lead, as I said, three go three points to no score here in Kinnegad. Quick kick out from Linda Dempsey, but it's for Manor that win it again. And the ball comes inside. Chance now for Ashley Maguire. Has Maguire been fouled? Referee Lorraine O'Sullivan says yes, and it's a free in. A chance now for Fermana to go further ahead. It's going to be Emer Smith, relatively easy chance for Emer Smith. Just on the 14 metre line, the angle is good as well. And it's Smith now lining this one up. For Mana, well in control in the early stages here in Kinnegad. It's Smith, easy as you like, go over the bar. Four points and no score for this for Mana side. Of course, these sides met in the 2020 Junior All-Ireland Final and again it was for Manor that came out on top in that game and they're looking good so far here today it's Wicklow now trying to go through the lines with the hand pass and on the run it's their number 4 that's Lucy Dunn, Dunn with a long delivery inside, 50-50 ball and it's for Manor that initially come away with, a, with their corner back, that was Molly McGloin but it's Wicklow take it quickly now and a chance for Sinead McGettigan, McGettigan in fact, that's Sarah Delahunt. Delahunt with the pass. Back to Delahunt again. It's Dela Delahunt with the shot. And again, it's a poor one from Wicklow. So far in the opening 10 minutes here, had several shots on goal that have either dropped short or dropping either side of Shauna Murphy's goal. It's Murphy now that will take the kick out. It's a good kick from Shauna Murphy. And it's for Manor retaining possession. On the run now is Ashley Maguire. It's Maguire down that left hand side. Has too much speed for Paula Faulkner. It's Maguire now heading towards the Wicklow 21. It's a poor hand pass though, and it's Wicklow that are able to hold on to it. And it's Lorna Fischardi plays the ball back. Long clearance coming out of the Wicklow defence. It's a better ball up towards their number 10. That's Laurie O'Hearn, but O'Hearn unable to hold on to possession. And it's going to be Shannon McQuaid from Fermanagh to take this sideline ball. Quaid going backwards with it. It's gone to one of her teammates and a hand pass on the way now to Roisin O'Reilly. O'Reilly has got plenty of options with her. One of them is number 17, Sarah Britton. Britton with the pass. Good movement from this for Mana forward on the ball in acres of space here. Chance for it was Roisin McDonald that got the shot, but there's a good block by the Wicklow defence. And away they come. Speeding down the line now. It's a good run from their number 10 and that's Laurie O'Hearn. O'Hearn has been called up though for over carrying. Initially a good run from Laurie O'Hearn but two for Manor defenders getting their challenge in and Wicklow with a fairly strong breeze here in Kinnegad unable to make anything of it as yet. And here come for Manor again now and it's a good run by Ashling O'Brien. O'Brien still going, leaving a number of Wicklow defenders in her in her dust, but she's been blown up again by Lorraine O'Sullivan, the referee from Dublin, and it's Wicklow now, still aiming for their first score, coming up to 11 minutes played, and it's Ashling Maguire, sorry, Rena McGettigan that has possession for Wicklow. McGettigan now, patient build-up, looking for runners inside the full forward line, but there's plenty of Fermanagh players back there. The hand pass eventually comes, big challenge by the Fermanagh captain, Courtney Murphy. Both players are down as a result, though, Wicklow player and the Fermanagh captain down. It was a heavy challenge made. Looks to be a clash of heads. I think it's uh, Nia McGettigan that's down on the Wicklow side. But it's Courtney Murphy that's down, the Fermanagh captain. And serious injuries by the looks of things here. In fact, it's Sarah Delahunt that's down on the Wicklow side. Looking to win possession from the hand pass from Rena McGettigan was the Wicklow midfielder, but for Manor's captain, saw a chance to win the ball, and it's resulted in both players being down at a break. 
as we see it here again. It was a good run from Rena McGett and hand pass in towards and a clash of heads between the Fermanagh captain, Katrina Murphy, who's still down, and Sarah Delahunt is leaving the field with looks to be a facial injury, maybe carrying a bit of blood as well on it. And I think Courtney Murphy's in a similar situation. Bloody nose for Sarah Delahunt, and it's the same for Katrina Murphy. So it's blood sub for both sides. Hopefully both players will be able to come back into the action fairly soon. It's number 20 on the Wicklow side. That's Aoife Gorman from the Tinnahili Club. That's entering the fray for them. We'll just update you with the Fermanagh change now in a moment. But either way, it's going to be a throw -in. And it's Aoife Flanagan and Niamh McGettigan initially, but it's Aoife Gorman who's going to come straight into the action for Wicklow. 13 minutes now, nearly on the clock, and it's Fermanagh leading four points to no score in this Lidl Ladies National Football League Division 3 relegation playoff. And it's Fermanagh that have come out with possession with Roisin O'Reilly down the line. Then it comes to Ashley Maguire. Maguire with a bit of space to run into initially. Takes on Lorna Fashardi, beats her with a lovely sidestep. And on comes Ashley Maguire, initially loses a bit of possession. Has she been fouled? She hasn't. She's fouled the ball, says referee Lorraine O'Sullivan. And it's going to be a free out for Wicklow that needs some kind of injection. They've had a very slow start to this game. Vital game for Wicklow as their captain, Sarah Jane Winters, plays this one off to Lorna Fashardi. Fashardi had a couple of years out of this Wicklow panel, but back last year. Gives it to Aoife Gillen. It's Gillen with the long delivery. It's a better ball inside now and a chance for Marie Keeley. One of the stars of this Wicklow side is Keeley in on goal. Goes for the shot. Goes for the goal. Brilliant finish from Marie Keeley and exactly what Wicklow needed. Brilliant ball initially up from Aoife Gillen. Great turn by Gillen on Molly McGloin. Inside then, it was to Marie Keeley. And Keeley with the run after a superb turn and there's only one point between the sides. Brilliantly worked goal for Wicklow. Just what they needed. And for Manor's lead down to a point as they go on the attack again. And it's a good interception by Aoife Gillen. Gillen gets the hand pass away to Lorna Fushardi. Maybe a bit of confidence now for this Wicklow side. It's Fushardi, tries to give it in long again. Inside to the full forward. And it's a good turn by their number 12. That's Rena McGettigan. McGettigan on the run. Up against a couple of Fermanagh defenders. Advantage being played by referee Lorraine O'Sullivan. And all of a sudden a chance for Wicklow to get back on level terms. And... Just a bit of magic there from Marie Keeley has got him right back into this. And a good run from Rena McGettigan has given them the chance to level up. With just coming up to the water break, it's going to be Marie Keeley, who, of course, star forward on this Wicklow side. Seven points in last year's All Ireland final against the same opposition. That's no bother to her either. Point for Marie Keeley, 1 1 for the Wicklow corner forward. And we're all square here in Kinnegad. Kick out from Shauna Murphy, the last touch by a Wicklow player and unable to keep it in was Larry Ahern. In substitution now coming back for Fermanagh in a moment or so. As they go on the attack. Over carrying was it? No, foul on Ashling O'Brien, the Fermanagh number 15 who's playing further out from what the number on her back suggests. And it's going to be a free just near the Wicklow 65 metre line for Aoife Flanagan. I should say, sorry, Niamh McGettigan to take the free for Fermanagh. Lo loads of runners for her initially, and it's going to be their number 17, Sarah Britton, that has it. Britton with the hand pass inside. It's going to come again to Niamh McGettigan. McGettigan met by a number of Wicklow defenders. Foul on her, though. And maybe a chance for Emer Smith to come out. Midway between the 45-metre line and the... Wicklow 21 metre line, it's Smith that is coming out to take it. Into a slight breeze here in Kinnegad. It's Emer Smith now. Chance to put Fermanagh back into the lead. Surely if this ball goes dead we may see the water break as well. It's Smith lining this one up. She has the distance, does she have the accuracy? She certainly does. Brilliant free from Emer Smith has put Fermanagh back into control here in Kinnegad, 16 and a half minutes played and referee Lorraine O'Sullivan says play on we'll keep going here as the ball falls to Rena McGettigan and Wicklow McGettigan has Aoife Gorman 
looking to win it, but it's won instead by Maeve Deeney. Deeney delivers this one long. Plenty of Fermanagh players back there, and it's Britain. Sarah Britain that has it blocked down brilliantly, though, by Sinead McGettigan. But it's Fermanagh that take possession again through Aoife Flanagan. Back now to Lucy Dunn. Sorry, Shannon McQuaid it is. Possession now trying to come out towards Ashling O'Brien, but it's Wicklow that have it, and it's Wicklow with Gorman. Ball delivered inside. It's a dangerous one now for corner forward and it's Clodagh Fox, it's Clodagh Fox on the run, Clodagh Fox with the shot, does it have the accuracy, it doesn't on this occasion, to the right and wide, another missed chance for Wicklow as referee Lorraine O'Sullivan calls us ashore for the water break, just 17 and a half minutes played here in Kinnegad and it's Fermanagh leading 5 points to 1-1, we're leading 4 points to no score early on here, but 1-1 in the space of a couple of minutes from Marie Keeley, the Wicklow number 15 and most dangerous forward, had them level, but that freed moments ago from Emer Smith has Fermanagh 5 points to 1-1 in ahead at the water break. Sets of management teams giving a chance to talk to their players. You'd imagine it was Wicklow manager Mark Murnahan that had more to say to his charges rather than the Fermanagh manager Johnny Garrity. Given their impressive start, certainly an impressive opening 12 or 13 minutes from Fermanagh, but Wicklow eventually getting to grips as Sean Murphy launches this one straight down the middle. Jostling for possession there. It's going to be Wicklow to come out with it. Good work back there from their midfielder, Sinead or Neave McGettigan. Now it's Lorna Fashardi. Fashardi on the run. Just doesn't win possession initially. Gets it away to Maeve Deeney. Deeney out to the right hand side. Bit of space to run into for the Wicklow corner back, and that's Aoife Gillen. And then with the pass inside, it's Wicklow now looking a bit better. Inside to Neave McGettigan. Plenty of Fermanagh defenders there before Maeve Deeney gets the shot away. It's going to drop short. It's going to bounce around the edge of the square. The last hit of Fermanagh hand, it was a turn, ended up being a dangerous ball in, unable to be dealt with. I think it was Lucy Dunn, who was on her second year on the panel, on the Fermanagh panel that got the last touch in a 45. Here's the call from the umpire down there. And as I said, a slight breeze here for Wicklow in this opening half. And it's going to be a chance for them maybe to drop the ball in around the edge of the square. It's going to be Maeve Deeney to take. And Steeny placing the ball on the ground, maybe giving it a shot. She'll look for a few runners as well. Good bit of movement inside the Wicklow. The Fermanagh 40 or 21 meter line. It's a shot from Deeney in the end. And again, it's gone to the left and wide. Off target again from Wicklow. And maybe Deeney on that occasion should have dropped it in around the edge of the square as Molly McGloin plays this one out. And pass now coming towards Aoife Flanagan. Flanagan delivering this one over to that far side on the run for for men on that occasion was there number 26 Neil McManus McManus has lost out though good work from Aoife Gillen and it's Paula Faulkner with the hand pass over there to Sarah Delahunt Dela wearing number 27 as a result of that facial injury a while ago that saw her come off due to a bit of blood but it's Possession is coughed up there, and it's good work back there from Sarah McCarville on the Fermanagh side. Back inside to Emer Keenan, wearing number 24, and it's Fermanagh coming out with it again. Good work from their defence. And out with it comes Molly McGloin. McGloin, very impressive defender on this Fermanagh side. It's on the run now, it's Ashing O'Brien. Good run from O'Brien. Tries to get a pass away. It's not a good one, though, in Wicklow. Our Back there in numbers again, it was Alana Conroy that won the interception to Delahunt. Delahunt has Neve McGettigan in front of her. It's Neve McGettigan now with possession for Wicklow. And on to the onrushing Lorna Fushardi. Fushardi 
up against a couple of Fermanagh defenders but has the pace they initially get away trying to find a pass there and it is a good one towards Marie Keeley Keeley inside much better from Wicklow now in the last couple of minutes it's the centre forward Sinead McGettigan McGettigan on the run now looking for goals again or Wicklow pass comes to Maeve Deeney shooting chance for Maeve Deeney brilliant score from Wicklow on that occasion we're level for a second time here in Kinnegad brilliantly worked score great work from Sinead McGettigan and inside to Maeve Deeney a much better effort from from Deeney on that occasion in comparison to the 45 moments ago and we're all square again kick out from Murphy is going to land to Laurie Ahern Ahern now with a chance to run at the Fermanagh defence she's been pulled back initially by the Fermanagh captain Katrina Murphy and it's inside to Sarah Delahunt as advantage is played Delahunt now taking on Sarah McCarville back inside to Sinead McGettigan, left foot a pass out to the wing for the onrushing Aoife Gillen, Gillen inside the Fermanagh 45, it's still Gillen, hand pass away, now it's back with Delahunt again, met immediately by what was her oppo opposite number Aoife Flanagan and now it's Rena McGettigan trying to win possession for Wicklow, does so, back to Maeve Deeney, Deeney has options inside, one of them options is Rena McGettigan, McGettigan gets the pass away, the shot comes from Wicklow again, it's a very wayward one, way to the left and Moyde, and another chance goes a begging for Wicklow. 23 minutes on the clock now here in Kinnegad. The wind just freshening a little bit. As Sean O'Murphy takes this kick out again. It looks like Sarah Delahunt has it. Doesn't get a clean possession on it straight away. Delahunt punched out of her possession by Eva Flanagan. And an island ball here for Wicklow and Delahunt. Pass comes into the middle to Lorna Fushardi. Fushardi always likes to get forward, gets the hand pass away, and it's out again to Delahunt from, from Laurie Ahern. Back to Ahern again now. Wicklow spending a bit of time inside the Fermanagh 45 metre line. Back to Laurie Ahern again from Lorna Fushardi. Ahern been met with a blanket of defenders from Fermanagh, forced again. Back outside to Fushardi and inside to Rena McGettigan. Onside again to Paula Faulkner. Faulkner with the hand pass. For Manor there in numbers though. Snuffing out this attack at the looks of it. Delahunt gets the pass away. It's Deeney again. Deeney with a slips one through. Looking for goals again. It's in towards the corner forward. It's Claude Fox. Fox gets the pass away. Looking to fashion a shooting chance here. Our Wicklow shot may come from. Marie Keeley in the end, it's Keeley that gets in, it's Keeley with the shot, 1-2 for, for Marie Keeley and Wicklow hit the lead for the first time here in Kinnegad, 1-3 to Fermanagh's 5 points and it's 1-3 in the last 10 or so minutes in comparison to 1 point from Fermanagh, great comeback here from Wicklow as the kick out comes to Sarah Britton, Britton gets the pass away and now it's into the middle to Niamh McGettigan for Fermanagh, forced to go backwards and Fermanagh now Starting to feel a bit of the pressure from Wicklow. The pass inside again for Fermanagh. Doesn't go to plan. And away they come with their midfielder. That's Neve McGettigan. McGettigan has Paula Faulkner with her. But it's Sarah, Sarah Jane Winders, their captain, that gets the pass away. It's Winders, has it again, gives it to Deeney. It's on the run. And Wicklow really now hitting their stride on the attack once more. Winders has gone all the way. Shooting chance maybe for the captain. Forced back inside by the Fermanagh defence. But they're still going through the hands out to this right-hand side now. A shot maybe for Larry Ahern. Gives the pass away. Shot eventually comes. And again, it's gone to the left and wide from Wicklow. It was Claude Fox that got the shot in the end. It wasn't. It was Marie Keeley on her weaker left foot. And as a result, it's another wide for Wicklow. But for Mana, struggling to get out of their own 45 meter line. Maybe a chance now after that accurate kick out to Sarah Britton by Shauna Murphy into the middle to her centre forward. That's Roisin McDonald. And on the run now, come for Mana yet again. It's good work, better from for Mana. They've struggled in the last few minutes. Aoife Flanagan has it. Flanagan, left footed pass. To their number 26, that's Neve McManus. Glorious score early on from McManus. Gets the pass away now to Ashley Maguire. Maguire now running out of options. Been forced down the side by Aoife Gillen and coming back outside with it is Maguire. Plenty of options behind her. That's her captain, Courtney Murphy, wearing number 20. It's Murphy in towards Emer Smith. Smith's won it there under severe pressure. Smith now looking for a shooting chance. Gets it back to Maguire. Maguire now on the run for Ferman. A shot from Ashling Maguire has gone to the right and wide. 26 minutes, just over 26 minutes on the clock here in Kinnegad and it's Wicklow leading 1-3 to no score. 
chance there for Ashley Maguire, who's ended up in good defending from Wicklow as her keeper Linda Dempsey gets this one away. Good moving from Wicklow, and they're able to come out fairly easily from their defence. And on the run now, Sarah Delahunt with pos possession gives it inside long. Looking for Claude Fox. Fox does brilliantly to just muscle the defender out of her way. It's Fox now with the chance for Wickler. Claude Fox eventually being tracked back. Gets the pass away to Maeve Deeney. Deeney trying to twirl her way through a couple of Fermanagh defenders under severe pressure and has been fouled according to referee Lorraine O'Sullivan. So a chance for Wicklow to go two points in front here. And Marie Keeley, a little bit of a trickier angle than the last attempt. Might have been better for a left-footed free taker, but it's going to be the ever reliable Keeley, who scored 1-2 so far in this game. Should be 1-3 on the 14 meter line. She goes high with it. And Keeley has pulled that one wide to the left. So the angle was a problem for the Wicklow sharpshooter. And it's Shauna Murphy that'll get us back underway. Good kick out from Murphy. Flanagan nearly taking it, but she's dispossessed by Paula Faulkner. Now it's Sarah Delahunt, very prominent for Wicklow in the opening 28 minutes or so. Delahunt with the pass in towards the centre forward. That's Sinead McGettigan getting it back to Keeley. It's a chance from Keeley. It's just gone over the bar. Shauna Murphy forced her jump towards the post and the crossbar, but has hurt herself. Looks like a head injury from that shot from Marie Keeley as we look at it again, just towards jumped towards the crossbar and landed with her head hitting off the post. So there's a bit of a problem here for the Fermanagh goalkeeper. But either way, it's a two-point lead now for Wicklow from that shot from Marie Keeley. 1-3 for Keeley in the opening half here. But there's a big, big worry for Shauna Murphy, who, of course, many of her viewers here may have seen her last year. With an unbelievable save that went viral against Limerick in the Junior Championship semi-final I think it was where Wicklow or sorry Fermanagh came out on top against Limerick and it was an unbelievable save from Murphy but the more concern now for the Fermanagh backroom team Johnny, Johnny Garrity and his selectors is that the health of their very experienced keeper when she's up on her feet now Shauna Murphy but surely must be a bit groggy after connecting with her left hand post taking a few steps made of stern stuff is the Ennis Gillen Gail's netminder, and she seems to be okay. The hat is back on, so she's ready to take the kick out. 29 minutes on the clock here in Kinnegad, and it's Wicklow, 1-4 to 5 points in front. And it's Marie Keeley doing all the damage here for Wicklow. Of course, Fermanagh leading 4 points to no score after 14 or so minutes. But a goal and a point in the space of 2 minutes from Marie Keeley brought Wicklow right back into this, and they currently hold a 2-point advantage. Hand pass now for Sarah McCarville. McCarville gets the pass away. And it's for Mana with their full back, Erin Murphy. And it's going through the hands again. It's McCarville. McCarville now with the pass to Ashling O'Brien. O'Brien now laying possession off to her corner forward. That's Joanne Donnan. Donnan with the ball inside towards Emer Smith. The ever dangerous Emer Smith comes back outside to O'Brien. Again, it comes backwards to, to Aoife Flanagan. The hand pass from Flanagan isn't a good one. Brilliant interception back there by the Wicklow defence. And play comes to Laurie Ahern. It's Ahern now with possession for Wicklow. Good step from Ahern. And she has the pace to beat. Neve McManus. It's Laurie Ahern now inside the 45 metre line. Still going, Laurie Ahern. She's looking for numbers here. Has she overcarried? Indeed, she hasn't. It's a free in. And a chance for Marie Keeley to go Put Wicklow three points in front. She missed the last one here as we're in added time at the end of the first half. Chance now for Keeley to add her 1-3 total thus far. Just 10 or so metres, 30 or so metres out from Shauna Murphy's goal. It's Keeley with the shot and it's Keeley with this one straight over the bar. Easy as you like from Marie Keeley. That's 1-4 for her and that's 1-5 for Wicklow. Goal ahead as we come into the final stages of this half and a poor kick out goes all wrong from Fermanagh's point of view. I think it was Shannon McQuaid that made a mess of that one. Just let it bounce over her head and it's Larry Ahern for Wicklow now on the attack. Larry Ahern trying to get into a shooting position. Thus far in the game, she's favoured passing the ball off as she comes into that area of the field. 
That's McGettigan now. It's Rena McGettigan that has it back inside to Laurie Hearn. Definitely over carrying though, says Lorraine O'Sullivan. Carry that into trouble. And it's for Mana who will have the free out of game, or a half of two halves, if you will. It's for Mana that dominated the opening quarter, but Wicklow have dominated the second 15 minutes here in Kinnegad. And it's Wicklow that have possession again with Neave McGettigan. Ball comes inside. Chance now for Rena McGettigan. Gets the pass away to Clodagh Fox. Fox now is quickly surrounded by three for Mana defenders, forced to come back outside. And it's Clodagh Fox that has it. Manages to hold on to possession. Has support with Fal Paula Faulkner. Now it's Fushardi. Fushardi trying to fashion the shooting chances. Lorna Fushardi gets the hand pass away. Has she been fouled? Lorraine O'Sullivan certainly thinks so. Another chance now for an, what is now a dominant Wicklow side. Another chance for Marie Keeley from even closer than her last effort and even straighter in front of the posts. So it's a chance now for Wicklow with just over 2 minutes and 20 seconds played of at a time in this first half of the Lidl Ladies National Football League Division 3 relegation playoff. And it's Marie Keeley. Again, the strike is good and it's over the bar. 1-6 to 5 points now for Wicklow here in the dying embers of this first half. And it's 1-5 for Marie Keeley as well. Really dominating, dominating exchanges in our Wicklow right now. Delahunt is pulled up for a push on the back. A free for Fermanagh, and they need something quickly here as the first half comes to a close. Pass comes inside to Ashley Maguire. It's Maguire on the run. Good work from Maguire. Two shooting chance now, maybe for Emer Smith. Comes on to her left, gets the hand pass away instead. But Wicklow are there again. Hand pass though from their captain, Sarah Jane Winders. Wasn't a good one. Forces Linda Dempsey to come off her line. Dempsey just hacks it, and it's going to be. Sideline ball right towards the end line for Wicklow. They're going to have to take it quickly because surely not much time left in this first half. Sideline ball over on this near side. Down right, just inches away from the end line. Just a bit of discussion whether it is a 45 or a sideline ball. The linesman down there saying... Went over the line, the sideline, rather than the end line. But for Mana forced to go backwards with it, it's now Britain that has it. Gets the hand pass away to O'Brien. O'Brien now back inside, coming into the middle here, trying to fashion a bit of space for the shot. Is Flanagan. Flanagan left footed, delivers it. It's not a good one from Aoife Flanagan, and it just bounces harmlessly to the right and wide. Not much imagination from Fermanagh in that attack. And it's going to be Linda Dempsey. That will, absent, wait, will not take this one quickly. Just takes her time. Lorraine O'Sullivan with the whistle to her mouth. About to blow half time, And that is the halftime whistle here in Kinnegad. And it's Wicklow after an outstanding second period of the first half. That lead 1-6 to 5 points. 1-5 from Marie Keeley in that half for Mark Murnahan's team. And it's Wicklow that are in control at the break here in Kinnegad. We'll be back for the second half shortly.
Half of this Lidl Ladies Gaelic Football Association uh, National Football League Division 3 relegation playoff between Wicklow and Fermanagh. It's Wicklow who hold the advantage at the end of that first half. Fermanagh leading four points to no score early on, but 1 5 from Marie Keeley and a point from Maeve Deeney has Wicklow in firm control again, but it's Fermanagh on the attack straight away here. Ball bouncing around, a goal chance straight away here for Emer Smith. What a start to the half for Fermanagh. Slots it past Linda Dempsey into Wicklow goal and there's just one point between the sides. The ball bounced favourably for Fermanagh just from the long ball in and Emer Smith slots it past the onrushing Linda Dempsey. Goal for Fermanagh and what a start to the second half here in Kinnegad. One point between the sides, it's Wicklow that hold the advantage and it's Niamh McGettigan with possession for Wicklow. What a... Start for Fermanagh, but what a nightmare for Wicklow. As Lorna Fouchardi now on the run, a bit of space for Fouchardi to run onto Wicklow, trying to come back quickly from that poor start. It's Marie Keeley, star player in the first half with 1 5 for Wicklow. It's back now to Neve McGettigan. McGettigan looking for a few options, decides to hold on to possession herself on the 45 metre line, delivers it. Good running there from Claude Fox. It's Fox met quickly by Emer Keenan. And it's Fox still has it. Oh, good work from the Wicklow corner for Touches and great though. Nashling O'Brien is there to nip in and get her hands on the ball. And away come Fermana with Molly McGloin wearing number two. And gives the pass to Sarah McCarville. McCarville trying to go past a couple of Wicklow players. Unable to do so. And it's Wicklow that have the foul. It's taken quickly by Fouchardi. There's Sarah Delahunt. It's actually going to go over to the referee, Lorraine O'Sullivan. It's going to be Niamh McGettigan to take. She has Lorna Fouchardi looking for play just 20 metres or so to her right. And it's Fouchardi that has it. Outside of the right boot from Fouchardi into Marie Keeley. Chased down quickly by Erin Murphy. But it's Keeley on the run for Wicklow. Three defenders beats them all. Gets the hand pass away. Has she been tugged back on the jersey? Indeed she has, says referee Lorraine O'Sullivan from Dublin. Clear as you like that foul on the Wicklow number 15. A chance now. For Keeley to bring her scoring total to 1 6. Easy for Marie Keeley. And that's a two point lead now for Wicklow. Good response to that early for Mana goal from Emer Smith. And Wicklow now two points to the good as Shauna Murphy launches this one, bounces towards Neve McGettigan. It's McGettigan that picks it up, has Paula Faulkner in support. Faulkner now to her halfback parna, partner, Lorna Fouchardi, who of was playing more in attack than her number five suggests. Pass comes to Maeve Deeney. Deeney again on to Paula Faulkner inside the Fermanagh 45 metre line. Now Sarah Delahunt wearing number 27, operating in the half forward line in the second half, wearing the number 27 due to an earlier clash with the Fermanagh captain. Katrina Murphy now it's Sinead McGettig with the pass. Good interception back there though by Fermanagh. And it's Emer Keenan with the interception. Keenan now with the pass to Sarah Britton. Britton, under pressure, has been fouled, has she? Yes, says Lorraine O'Sullivan. 
And a free out for Fermanagh and Britain leaves it. And will more than likely take possession back very quickly. It's Britain now with a bit of space to run into on this near side. Fermanagh trailing by two. And Sarah Britton puts this one inside. There's a bit of space now for Joanne Donnan to run into. There's a couple of defenders back there though for Wicklow. And it's Sarah Jane Winters trying to win it. But there's been a foul put in the back by Joanne Donnan. And Wicklow take it quickly. Coming out of the fence now is their centre back, Alana Conroy. Conroy plays this one off and it's into the midfield now. And it's Wicklow on the attack again. Played inside now. It's a good ball inside. Looking for the run off Claude Fox. Fox looking at the hand pass. Good work for me, Merkeen. And back there though. That'll be a free out for Fermanagh. It's taken quickly by Aoife Flanagan. Flanagan with the pass and there's an attack on here now for Fermanagh. It's Niamh McManus that has it. McManus cuts back inside, plays the pass off to Joanne Donnan. Donnan now going right across, trying to create a bit of space. Unable to do so. Good diligent defending from Wicklow. Pass comes across. It's going to be won over there by Sarah Britton. Didn't go to hand, so Wicklow with a chance to get a number of players back. Britain on their own, met by Lorna Fuchardi. Good step from Sarah Britton. Britain still going here, wearing the number 17, but starting the game. Britain has been fouled. Shooting chance now from this free, just outside the 21 metre line for Emer Smith. Good, incisive run from Sarah Britton from the Adderney St. Joseph's Club. A chance for Emer Smith. That has it, just out outside the 21 metre line. And a chance with five minutes on the clock in the second half. For Fermanagh to cut Wicklow's lead to just a point. Smith usually deadly from this kind of range. No mistake from Emer Smith on this occasion. One point between the sides here. Again in Kinnegad in this Lidl Ladies Football National League Division 3 playoff final. A relegation playoff I should say. And it's 1-7 to Wicklow, 1-6 to Fermanagh. It's Fermanagh that will win possession from the kick out again. Good work there from Shannon McQuaid. Gets the hand pass away. Comes inside now to Ashley Maguire. Maguire unable to get her hands in it initially though. And it's going to be won by Maguire second time around. And has there been a foul on the Fermanagh number 12? No, there hasn't. It's going to be a throw ball is the decision from the referee. Play midway between the 45 and 21 metre line, that's Flanagan that wins it. Good, powerful take from the Fermanagh midfielder and she's been fouled. And another chance for Emer Smith to come out from her full forward position. 1-1 in the second half, the only scorer for Fermanagh in the second half. And Smith now a bit further out, but she showed in the first half against the breeze that she's well capable from this range. Has the added advantage of what is a freshening breeze here in Kinnegad. It's Emer Smith. Goes high with it. Does it have the accuracy? Looks good from here and then the umpire goes for the flag and it's all square again in Kinnegad. Tight as you like for Mana with the strong start to the second half and if Claude Wicklow's four point lead at the break back and we're all square for the third time as Wicklow play the ball out here and it's McGettigan over on that far side. In fact, it's Laurie Hearn on the run. It's a Hearn being well marshalled in the end by Shannon McQuaid. Comes into the middle now for Wicklow and it's on the attack inside the 45 metre line. Ball comes in to Maeve Deeney. Deeney now on her left will look to come back to her right. Gives the pass away instead. Laurie Hearn once more. It's a Hearn with the shot. Has the accuracy this time. Didn't in the first half. Laurie Hearn decided to pass it off more often than not, but this time. From all of 30 metres, brilliant strike from the Wicklow half forward, and it's Wicklow to go ahead again, 1 8 to 1 7. Kick out now for Shauna Murphy, and it's a good one. Finds her midfielder there, Roshan O'Reilly. It's Roshan O'Reilly on the run. It's a good challenge there, but O'Reilly has managed to hold on to it. For Mana now, take pa play past halfway, and it's Ashling O'Brien. O'Brien now, surely fouled by Neve McGettigan. Referee agrees with me on this occasion. And it's a free in for, for Mana. And just a, a bit of no taking from referee Lorraine O'Sullivan. Free is being left to Roisin O'Reilly. She'll be looking for some runners there, O'Reilly. 
And she has a willing one there, and it's the corner forward, Joanne Donnan. Donnan now, met by the Wicklow captain, Sherrod, Sarah Jane Winders, gets the hand pass inside now. Maybe another shooting chance. Neve McManus has one point in. The first half comes to Weimer Smith. Smith jinking, trying to find a bit of space. Instead goes back to Neve McManus. Couldn't fashion a bit of room for the shooting chance. Smith now looking again. Has Roisin O'Reilly with her. Decides to go across to Sarah Britton. Britton with the hand pass. Roisin O'Reilly gets the hand pass outside. Good work from Fermanagh. Holding on to possession. Patient build-up. Comes back again to Joanne Donnan. Donnan with the shot on this occasion. Does it have the accuracy? It definitely does. Unbelievable score from Fermanagh. Brilliant patient build-up, and in the end, the finish comes from Joanne Donnan, and we're all square again here in Kinnegad. Brilliant, brilliant score, and the game leveled for a fourth time as Linda Dempsey kicks this one long. There's a bit of space to run into for Neave McGettigan to win possession. That's exactly what Neave McGettigan has done. Now there's space to run into on the attack. No one in immediate contact for Fermanagh. Aoife Flanagan tries to get back, but it's McGettigan still on the run. The hand pass is intercepted brilliantly back there by Sarah McCarville and it's for Mana now on the attack with Ashley Maguire. Good work there, good interception from McCarville. Read the hand pass from Neve McGetting and it's Ashley Maguire up to Joanne Donnan. Full of confidence after that score a moment ago, Joanne Donnan met by the challenge of the captain, the captain on the Wicklow side, Sarah Jane Winders. A foul says the referee and Joanne Donnan with the quick free looking for the run of Neve McManus. McManus now it's going to be met by Aoife Gillen very quickly here. Neve McManus comes back inside. Has the pass to Ashling O'Brien. O'Brien inside now to Aoife Flanagan. It's Sarah Britton on the run. Try Aoife Gorman trying to get back with the tackle. It's a push on Sarah Britton. And a chance for Fermanagh to go back ahead here. They haven't led since that goal from... Or sorry, since midway through the first half, I should say. When Wicklow took control of the game. Inspired by Marie Keeley, but it's Emer Smith and Fermanagh now that are just wrestling a bit of control in this game. It's Smith from inside the semicircle. She's shown already in the second half and indeed in the first half how her prowess from place balls. And this one should be no trouble given what we've seen so far. She goes high with it, of course. Immediately the commentator's curse is put on Emer Smith. She's scored him from much, much more difficult angles in this game thus far and from straight in front of the post she may be a lapse in concentration gone to the right and wide and a big chance for Fermanagh to go ahead goes a begging as Linda, Mer D Linda Dempsey with a poor kick out of and it's Fermanagh with possession with Joanne Donnan Donnan has McCarville with her Donnan on her, the run herself still going Joanne Donnan still has it Donnan she's done well to hold on to possession there but it's going to be a free out over carrying says the referee and just kind of brought it into a bit of a ruck of players as Lorena Sullivan not happy with where the free was taken from orders to play back inside the Wicklow 21 metre line and it's going to be Linda Dempsey that will take the kick out 1-8 to 1-8 here in Kinnegad in this vital game for both sides as I mentioned earlier they met in the 2020 All-Ireland Junior Football Championship final and it was a goal after 20 seconds from Fermanagh centre forward Roisin MacDonald that set them on their way in that game to victory and the Intermediate Championship in 2021 as Wicklow on the attack again. Aoife Garman on the run. Aoife Garman now takes the pass. Chance inside for Marie Keeley. Left foot a shot from Keeley. There's a block on it. And it's easy for Sean and Murphy to take and gets the hand pass away to Roisin O'Reilly. O'Reilly now met by Marie Keeley, comes back to Molly McLean and back to the Fermanagh keeper, Shauna Murphy. Murphy has plenty of options on her right hand side. One of them options is Shannon McQuaid. McQuaid gets the pass away now to Sarah Britton. Britton has runners outside her. One of them runners is Roisin O'Reilly. O'Reilly, sorry, Ashley McGuire it is. Miss McGuire with the low one down towards Emer Smith. Smith immediately met by Alana Conroy on her left side at least. Double marked now in the last few minutes Emer Smith gets the pass away to Neve McManus I think it is on that far side it comes anyway to Ashley Maguire Maguire slowing things down plays it off to Shannon McQuaid up from corner back Shannon McQuaid with a dangerous run incisive run pass to Ashley Maguire is it over the bar it is brilliant score from Fermanagh and they go ahead for the first time in this second half brilliantly worked score patient build up and it's a point for Fermanagh 
With 13 minutes of the second half played, they go one point clear. As referee Lorraine O'Sullivan calls the water break here early enough in the second half, just 13 minutes played. And it's the water break, 43 minutes on the clock. And it's that goal from Emer Smith that has brought Fermanagh right back into this contest. And that last point there from Ashley Maguire has put them one point to the good here in Kinnegad, 1 9 to 1 8. And it's for Mana that hold that slight advantage. Wicklow leading four points, by four points I should say, at half time by virtue of 1-5 from the ever impressive Marie Keeley. Keeley's only got one point in the second half. And they really need, they really do rely on their star corner forward do this Wicklow side. As I mentioned earlier, seven points in that defeat to Fermana, the 2020 All-Ireland Final. And it's Keeley very much of the same, 1 6 to her name in the second half. But one thing noticeable from Wicklow in the second half and what Fermanagh have done, they've stopped in the main the runs of Lorna Fouchardi, who was getting forward a lot in that first half, through the middle as well. But Fouchardi has been, has been forced back more than she would certainly like in the second half. And we're getting ready now to get back underway here in Kinnegad. And it's Fermanagh that hold. A one point advantage in this Division 3 relegation playoff. And the kick now is going to be won again by Fermanagh and Roshan O'Reilly. O'Reilly decides to go long looking for Emer Smith. And there's a chase on between Smith and the number 21, Jessica Nolan. But it's Smith that's won it here for Fermanagh. Looking to get the hand pass away. Emer Smith, a whole host of Wicklow defenders trying to stop her. She gets the shot away to Smith, but it's to the right and wide. Very difficult angle especially with three Wicklow defenders around her, did well to even get a shot away on that occasion. But for Manor's lead stays at one point. And Emer Smith unable to find a target on that occasion. And it's Linda Dempsey with the long kick out. Again, it's going to be won by Roisin O'Reilly. And for Manor now really starting to gain control from the kick outs. It's McCarville now to Ashley Maguire. McGuire has the possession to Emer Smith. Smith now has Flanagan, and Flanagan, a powerful runner, gets the pass away to, to the corner for Joanne Donner. It's a chance now for Ashling O'Reilly, and a, or sorry, Ashling O'Brien. Goal chance for Fermanagh. Hugely, hugely opportune chance. It was Donnan to her corner forward partner, a full forward line partner, Ashling O'Brien, and just cut across the shot that Ashling O'Brien. Glorious chance for either a point or a goal as Sarah McCausland comes on for Fermanagh, wearing number 10, scheduled to start the game, but she's a substitute for this afternoon's game. She's in, inside, in the full forward line. And the player coming off for Fermanagh is going to be Shannon McQuaid. So a bit of rejigging from Johnny Garrity here, as Fermanagh win another kick out through Ashley Maguire. That's the last three won by Fermanagh, it's Emer Smith with the pass away and it's McCausland straight away into the action and it comes back to Emer Smith, it's Smith with the shot and it's Smith with the point so McCausland with an assist straight away here, brilliant introduction for the Fermanagh number 10 and it's back to the ever reliable Emer Smith, she was off target from a difficult angle moments ago but this time she makes no mistake and it's two points an advantage now for Fermanagh, 15 minutes plus added time to play here in Kinnegad and again Another kick out goes astray and it's a chance for Emer Smith. She tries the lob, she'll take the point instead. It's two in a row for Emer Smith here. And all of a sudden, from nowhere for Manor, three points clear against Wicklow. There's an injury here for the corner back inside and it's Lucy Dunn that's down injured on the 21 meter line. She's holding her head. So we'll have a break in play here in Kinnegan and maybe just what Wicklow need. I don't mean the injury, but the break maybe gives a chance for Mark Murnahan to get a, a couple of messages onto his team. There's certainly something is needed for this Wicklow team. They really, really just haven't got going in the second half. Just two points from their 1-6 total at the break. As we look at this point again from Emer Smith. And we're just waiting to see. Lucy Dunn just went down very, very suddenly there. Didn't seem to be holding and carrying an injury until she just kind of collapsed in a heap. So hopefully she's okay. She's going through a couple of stringent examinations there. So maybe Lucy Dunn's afternoon's work is over. She's up. She's got the all, all clear from the physio. And the kick out is taken. 
quickly from Linda Dempsey, but referee Lorraine O'Sullivan was certainly not happy with the speed with that was taken. She certainly wasn't ready. She's going to have a chat here with Emer Smith indeed. She may be able to check with her umpires. And maybe that was the injury to Lucy Dunn. So Emer Smith is going to get in a bit of trouble here. And it's a stern talking to number one. And number two, it could be a yellow card, which would be a big blow to this for Man Aside. Their scorer in chief, Emer Smith, looks at the moment like she's going to receive a yellow card. That would mean a sin bin. And for Manas main scoring threat is going to spend some time on the sideline here in Kinnegad. That's a yellow card and a sin binning for the Fermanagh number 14. I'm just waiting to see what, what the incident was. It's Emer Smith here after she kicked the point. We can't see anything on the replay anyway. There was a tug maybe on the jersey of Lucy Dunn. Either way, whatever she did has merited a yellow card. And her men are down to 14 players for 10 minutes here, so maybe that's what Wicklow need as Aoife Gillen gets a pass away to Lorna Fushardi. Good pressure from the Fermana defenders, but her foul was given, and Lorna Fushardi has taken it from the wrong position. According to the referee, of course, Lorna Fushardi plays her football with Fox Rock Kevin Teeley in Dublin. She's been on the Wicklow panel since the age of 16. That's Fushardi to take. Goes backwards with the pass to Aoife Gillen. Now there's an extra player back there for Wicklow. So captain Sarah Jade Winters with the pass looking for number 21, Jessica Nolan. Nolan now on the run for Wicklow. Hand pass isn't good. It's a brilliant interception from Roisin O'Reilly. Now even though they're down a player for Mana will break quickly here. Inside to McGettigan. McGettigan to McCausland. Sarah McCausland now on the run. McGettigan with the pass, there's a bit of space for Aoife, Flanagan couldn't pick it at the first time, couldn't catch it, and they'll be forced to come back outside, that's a poor pass from Flanagan, big challenge there by Aoife Garmin on Ashling O'Brien as she won possession, it's a foul, well it's not a foul I should say, but there's a big injury, a head injury to the Fermanagh number 15, and referee Lorraine O'Sullivan rightly calling a halt to the action. It's for Mana, although now down to 14 players with their star forward, Emer Smith, receiving a yellow card. Still lead by three points here in Kinnegad as we come up to the 15-minute mark. Ashling O'Brien now certainly feeling the effects of that strong challenge from Aoife Gorman. A fair challenge as well it was from the Wicklow number 20 as she tried to win possession. And it's O'Brien still receiving attention here. As Lorna Fushardi's afternoon is over, substitute on the Wicklow side. We mentioned she'd been struggling to, to make an impact in the second half. And just looking at a replay of that challenge, Ashing O'Brien still struggling down there. And understandably, as you see, the force of that challenge from Aoife Gorman. As I mentioned, a fair challenge indeed it was. So O'Gorman now, or O'Brien I should say. Still receiving plenty of treatment down there. It was a tough landing as well. Following the initial hit, she landed fairly strongly as well. So it's a big check just to make sure there's no concussion. Of course, a stringent test now undergoing from any player that receives that kind of head injury. But Ashing O'Brien seems to be okay to continue. And the medical work has done its job. It's going to be a free back there either way for Wicklow. I think it's Sarah Delahunt that's gone all the way to take that. So she had been playing at half forward in the second half. Sarah Delahunt may have dropped short now as Alana Conroy gets it away to Aoife Gillen. Aoife Gorman now just goes past Aoife Flanagan. It's Aoife Gorman wearing number 20 on this. Wicklow side still going Aoife Gorman. What a run from the number 20 under severe pressure by a number of Fermanagh players. Surely fouled in the first play. Referee says no though. Because it's a free out for over carrying. It was a 70-80 metre run there from Aoife Gorman, but in the end she was crowded out and forced to overcarry, according to the referee, and Shauna Murphy will take the free for Fermanagh. Plays it short, and Fermanagh now will just want to hold on to possession back there. Ashley Maguire dropping back, and Smalley Maguire now takes possession back. The second attempt, it's Katie Boyle that has it, but it's forced 
brilliantly won back by Aoife Gorman, forced a mistake in the Fermanagh defence. Wicklow needing that bit of positivity there as Gorman tries to play this one to Alana Conroy. It's a loose kick though from the midfielder and it's won back there by Ashling O'Brien, certainly showing no ill effects from that hefty challenge moments ago. And it's Fermanagh with possession, but it's won back there brilliantly by Jessica Nolan. In fact, that's Sarah Delahunt that's won it, wearing number 27, initially wearing number 9, but a blood injury in the first half has seen her having to change jersey. And it's Neve McGett again on the run, gets it away to Maeve Deeney. Deeney now, out around the 45 metre line, plays it back to the recently introduced Kate Hennessy. It's Hennessy with the pass to Delahunt. Wicklow needing an injection of pace here, and it's coming from their corner back. Aoife Gillen, Gillen gets the pass away to Clodagh Fox. It's Fox on the run, gets it back to Gillen. The whistle is blown, free in to Wicklow. Great work there, very, very snappy build-up involving Della Hunt and Aoife Gillen showing all her experience to come up from corner back just when it was needed and a chance now for Marie Keeley to add to her 1-6 scoring total so far. Chance to make it 1-7. With the other scores coming from Laurie Ahern and Maeve Deeney on this Wicklow side, Marie Keeley. Has got most of these today from this angle. No trouble whatsoever to Marie Keeley. There's two points between the sides here in Kinnegad. 1-11 to Fermanagh, 1-9 to Wicklow as they introduce Helena Dowling of the Balton Glass Club. So it's number 18, Helena Dowling is the player to come on for Wicklow. And it's going to be a break in play here. It's for men to make a sub of their own. Off comes Neve McManus, a point scorer in the first half for Fermanagh. So it's Neve McManus on. We'll update you in a few moments on who's on for Fermanagh. We'll tell you right now, in fact, because it's not number 19. Laura Grew as Wicklow come on to the attack again. Fermanagh player getting a hand on that, but it's going to bounce towards Kate Hennessy. Hennessy, second possession since coming on to Delahunt. Sarah Del Delahunt, very prominent in that first half, but Struggling to get into it in the second half, as most of the Wicklow players are, and it's Sinead McGettigan with possession. Good run coming in there. As Wicklow look for another score. It's Delahunt with the shot. It's Delahunt with the score. Brilliant work from Wicklow yet again here in the, man the player advantage. Really showing up now. Delahunt in the with a host of Fermanagh defenders in her wake. Just got the kick away brilliantly over the bar from the midfielder Sarah Dullahunt with her first point of the game. We have a one point game as Fermanagh now really feeling the effects of losing Emer Smith and we have a chance now to go on the attack and it's Grew with the pass here to McCausland. Sarah McCausland wearing number 10 but introduced as a second half substitute. Ashley Maguire now into in towards number 13. That's Joanne Donnan. Donnan with a point in the second half to her name as well. Slowing things down. Left footed pass. There's space here for Britain, it comes instead to the number 19, that's Sarah Kira Grew, in fact it was Laura Grew and it's Wicklow that managed to win possession back, and the way they come with it for Jessica Nolan, of Sarah Delahunt I should say, the hand pass is brilliantly won back there though by Katie Boyle, and Boyle with the ball in isn't a good one, it's easily won back there by Aoife Gillen to her captain Sarah Jane Winders, over to that side now to Lucy Dunn, and Dunn plays this one out. To her wing back, and Sarah Jane Jones, but it's won back there brilliantly by Ashley Maguire as Marie Keeley tried to win possession. Now it's Molly McLean back into the middle to Roisin O'Reilly. Ashley O'Brien now has a couple of runners. Goes to the statics, Sarah McCausland, and all the way out now to Aoife Flanagan. It's for Mana holding on to possession, trying to wind down the time before Emer Smith can be reintroduced. Ball eventually comes forward. And it was Sarah McCausland trying to win it, but Wicklow have the numbers back there in a way. They come on the counter. Bit of space now for Laurie Ahern to run into. Jessica Nolan on her right here. It's Nolan on the run. It was Nolan that picked up the loose possession. Jessica Nolan still going. Gets the pass away to Maeve Dean. A chance to level it for the fifth time of the afternoon. Brilliantly worked score. All square again here in Kinnegad. 1-11 one, one, one to Fermanagh. 1-11 to Wicklow. Brilliantly worked score. And all square again for the fifth time here in Kinnegad in this Lidl Ladies Football National League Division 3 relegation playoff. Possession with Shauna Murphy. And Murphy plays in this Wicklow that are there again. It's one there by Helena Downing. 
hand pass inside. It's Deeney again. Chance maybe for a goal. Possession unable to be taken up by Marie Keeley. The one player they would have wanted that chance to have come to. But Shauna Murphy was quick off her line as Keeley couldn't get possession of the ball. And there's going to be a free out. A foul by Keeley indeed it was on the Fermanagh defender. And there's going to be a little break in play as well as that Fermanagh defender receives a bit of attention. I think it's the full back Aaron Murphy that's down. But it's all Wicklow now at the moment as the time on Emer Smith's sin binning is coming to a close. Just over 30 seconds left on the sin bin. Aaron Murphy is okay to continue. And play will restart here as Fermanagh try to recover from that three points in a row. There were three points to declare when Emer Smith was sin binned, but points from Keeley. Sarah Delahunt and now of course Maeve Deeney with her second point of the game as Wicklow level again and it's Aoife Garman on the run again here well won back there by Ashling O'Brien initially and it's O'Brien that picks it up off the ground to try and launch a Fermanagh attack here has been fouled has she? Referee says no but it's Fermanagh that with possession with Sarah McCarville McCarville gets the pass away and Sarah Britton under severe pressure it has to be said there by Sinead McGettigan fouled says the referee and is waiting for Emer Smith to come back onto the field no signal as of yet from referee Lorraine O'Sullivan as Aaron Murphy gets the hand pass away to Ashley Maguire Maguire now trying to make a bit of an advance into the 45 of Wicklow she's done exactly that gets the pass away as for Manon now on the attack, pass comes to Ashling O'Brien. Good run from Joanne Donnan in the first place. Comes to Ashling Maguire then with the hand pass. Maguire forced to go backwards. Joanne Donnan to point in the second half. Gets the pass away to Sarah McCausland. McCausland forced backwards yet again. That's intercepted by Aoife Gorman. Aoife Gorman having a storming second half for Wicklow. There's this one down in front of Clodagh Fox. Fox met by Emer Keenan, but it's Fox doing well to beat her marker. Fox now. Coming down that left-hand side, foul, says the referee, Lorraine O'Sullivan. That's Clodagh Fox that has won that free for Wicklow. A chance now on the 45-metre line. Initially, it looked like Sinead McGettigan was going to take it, but it's going to be left to Maeve Deeney. She'd won effort from the 45-metre line in the first half that sailed harmlessly to the left-hand side, and that was with the breeze, but the breeze now coming more across the field and favouring either team. She goes short, looking for Laurie Hearn, that's still Maeve Deeney. Deeney with a chance, two in a row for Deeney. That would put Wicklow back in the lead, and that's exactly what Maeve Deeney has done here. It's Wicklow 112 for Mana 111 here. In the dying stages of this Division Three relegation playoff here, in Kinnegad and it's for Mana now who held a three point lead before that Emer Smith's in binning that are trailing now by a point and it's they that are on the attack now with Sarah McCarville McCarville still going here she's met by a number of Wicklow defenders manages to get possession back to one of her team and it's since Roisin O'Reilly now to Sarah Britton Britton again met by a number of Wicklow defenders Joanne Donnan with the pass it's a good pass chance now for Laura Grew, it's Grew, being met by a couple of defenders, gets the pass away, chance for Sarah McCausland, she went for the goal, she'll be settling for the point though, all square again for the sixth time in this Needle Ladies National Football League Division 3 relegation playoff, as Emer Smith comes back in, that's the big, big one for, for Mana as Sarah McCausland levels the score here for the sixth time, her first point since coming on as the second half substitute. And now they're back to the full complement. And it's Ashling or it's Joanne Donnan battling now with Laurie Hearn for possession. It's the Wicklow half forward that has won it and won the foul with it. All square here coming up to a minute of added time play. And it's Aoife Gorman taking play into the Fermanagh half or the Fermanagh half before offloading with a long delivery towards Claude Fox. Fox with the hand pass now. And it's Wicklow on the attack. Maybe a goal chance, maybe not. The point is what they'll try and settle for. And that's exactly what they've got. And once again, it's Marie Keeley that's got it for Wicklow. 1-8 for Marie Keeley now is her total. Really leading Wicklow here to victory. Is that the case with a minute, just over a minute of added time play? Re the manager on the Wicklow time, Mark Mernon, roaring out, calling on time to be up. But it may not be up, but it's Wicklow in possession again. It's Kate Hennessy with the pass. 
It's Wicklow now just holding on to it. Aoife Gorman has it as they make their way into the 45 metre line. Play comes back here to their number 24, Laura Clark. In fact, it wasn't. It was their number 21, Jessica Nolan, but it's Clodagh Fox with possession now for Wicklow. Trying to hold on to possession, not taking any chances. Play comes back here. Charge from the Wicklow players for Mana that win possession back. It was a mistake from Jessica Nolan. No argument with that decision from the referee. And it's Ashley Maguire now who with Fur for Mana, who are badly in need of something quick here as we pass two minutes of added time. Of course, we've the water break and a few stoppages to contend with as well. As Aaron Murphy, the full back for for Mana, takes play to Sarah McCarville. It's McCarville on the run for Fermanagh. Sarah McCarville now gets the pass away. Inside to Roshan O'Reilly. Now it's Ashley Maguire here for Fermanagh. They badly need a score. Sarah McCausen comes up from the full forward line, bringing it all the way back to the 45 metre line though. And that's exactly what Wicklow will want to see from this Fermanagh attack. Instead it comes to Joanne Donnan. Donnan has shown her danger. Emer Smith was always going to be the target for this attack. It's Smith that has won it. It's out to Roshan O'Reilly. Oh, can O'Reilly level it? She gets the shot away, but it's gone to the right and wide. And Wicklow, with nearly three minutes of added time, played here in Kinnegad. That lead by 113 to 112. And is that score from Marie Keeley the eighth point of the afternoon for her? She's got a goal with it as Shanna Gotelan comes on for Wicklow. The ball comes down. That's Wicklow that have won the kick out. It could be key. As Helena Dowling plays this one forward, there's a Fermanagh player getting attention. That won't bother Wicklow. It's Claude Fox takes on Emer Keenan. It's Claude Fox surely fouled by Emer Keenan. That's exactly what's happened. Free given by the referee, Lorraine O'Sullivan. And Marie Keeley will be in absolutely no rush to take this free as she wanders aim aimlessly over to take this one in absolutely no rush, as I said. Having a little chat with one of the teammates as she went. She might even leave it for her centre forward, Sinead McGettigan. That's exactly what's happened. And McGettigan takes it quick to Healy. Keeley, I should say. It's Marie Keeley just holding on to possession. Wasting a bit of time here as they hold on to it again towards Sinead McGettigan. McGettigan now as Wicklow hold that one point lead over for Manor here. It's survival in Division 3 of the Lidl Ladies National Football League at stake here. And it looks like the all-Ireland champ junior champions from 2020 are going to be playing their football in Division 4 from a league point of view next season. And Wicklow, the beaten finalists of the junior championship last year, are going to be staying in Division 3 for 2022. Over four minutes played now. Another foul and Maeve Deeney, this time is the player that's fouled. Marie Keeley has the ball in her hands. Closing this one out by the looks of things as Mark Murnahan Gives a couple of more instructions to his Wicklow players. And as he query, queries the referee and time. Lorraine O'Sullivan not having any of it though. As Aoife Gillen takes the free, goes backwards with it. To her midfielder, Niamh McGettigan. And outside to Helena Dowling. On the run now, back there is Alana Conroy. Just holding on to possession still, Wicklow. It's Laurie O'Hearn with it, it goes backwards. That's all Wicklow have to do here. Lena Dowling with the ball back to the recently introduced Gotelan. That's Wicklow now moving forward this time with it. Again, it's Jessica Nolan for Manor just in desperation trying to win the ball back. And that's the full time whistle here in Kinnegad. It's victory for Wicklow in the Lidl Ladies Football National League Division 3 relegation playoff. 113. To 112, the winning scoreline for as Lorna Fushardi comes back on to celebrate with her team. It's a hard fought victory here for Wicklow. Three points down when Emer Smith was shown a yellow card, and that proved to be crucial as they scored three in a row to go to level things. Then another point put them ahead from Sarah Delahunt. But Fermanagh came back through their substitute, Sarah McCaws, and but again came back, did Wicklow, and a winning score from Marie Keeley from play. A winning score from Keeley, who scored 1-8 overall, leading her side to victory. And as I said, it's Wicklow that will be playing Division 3 football in 22, 2022. That's all from us here in Kinnegad. Wicklow winning on a 113 to Fermanagh's 112. Join us soon for more live action.